Hi friends, this is Audi One and you're watching part 22nd of the Sequely Lab series. In the last lesson, we had expanded the test bed and included some JSP files which would run on Tomcat and would emulate as a WAF. Well, let's take it up from there and continue. We had also discussed the scenario where the Tomcat would be behaving as a kind of a proxy server or a reverse proxy publishing our Apache. That would be the backend. So this is our Tomcat. Client sends the request. Tomcat processes it, analyzes, parses the rules, etc. And then sends the request if OK to the backend server. The backend server returns the response to Tomcat and Tomcat then sends it back to the client. Let's see this in action. So for this, we have lesson 29, lesson 30 and lesson 31. Let's start. So we say that we input ID equals one. We get login name as dumb, password as dumb. And this site is protected by world's best firewall. Let's say ID equals two. Okay. Let's start to fuzz it instantly, giving a single quotes. And this time the application just redirects me to a page called hacked.jsp and it says bug off. Attack blocked successfully by the dump WAF. Let's go back and try again. We say ID equals one. And let's try something else. Let's try one, 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 one. Okay, as we know that our database doesn't have that many number of entries, so it doesn't return us anything, but it works fine. Let's go back and let's try something else. Let's try to give it an alphanumeric thing. Let's give it A. So it does not accept A even. Let's go back and let's give it something like one slash. It even doesn't take the slash. So the question becomes, how are we going to bypass this? Well, before continuing further, let's open this up and let's analyze as of what we are seeing on the page. It seems that the application only accepts integers or numeric values. And if we try to give any kind of alphanumeric to it, it detects that. So for lesson 29, let's open, let's open it in an editor. And let's see how the code is. Oops, I opened up the wrong one. I had to open the index. Now let's analyze this. If you see, it starts like this. It says the request that we are giving through ID parameter is being input as ID. And because it's a WAF, so it's also storing the query string, the initial query string received from the client. Now there is a very small difference between what exactly is a query string and what is the get parameter. We'll discuss that in the later videos. Now, if we see, we say, okay, if the value is provided and if it's not null or something, then here comes our regular expression. If we evaluate this expression, it says anything should start with only digits, one or more and terminate. So that means only digits are allowed, the numeric values. If 
there is a match that means if there are only digits like it's just doing a match and say if the match is true then go back to http localhost sql labs lesson 29 index.php and send the query string so that the backend application can analyze and get back to us and then read the buffer read everything and then just output and just keep on outputting if you receive the inputs and if there's a false then just go to hack.jsp a very simple logic now the question is if this is a whitelist filter which is only accepting digits or numeric value how can we bypass it well for those who have already gone back and studied the HPP paper by Stefano and Luca for the OWASP and even read the presentation by Ivan Ristik regarding his work on WAFs would know the answer. The answer is the problem associated with impedance mismatch. Now what is this impedance mismatch? Let's see it here. Now if we see our front end is Tomcat running GSP and our back end is Apache running PHP. Now the way GSP handles the parameters and the way PHP handles the parameters are totally different. What this means, the query that is being sent by the client can be interpreted in one way by this application and the same query when passed to the back end can be interpreted in a very very different fashion, totally opposite or something else. Confused. Well, as we move on, it will become clear. I would suggest, please go back and just watch those presentations. To demonstrate this, let's take our lesson one. So we are connected to localhost SQL Labs lesson one. This is our very old and very first lesson running on Apache directly PHP. Just to be sure of we are running PHP code here, I'll just say index.php and then provide the parameters id equals 1 now giving the reference to the HPP or the HTTP parameter pollution if we provide the same parameter to the application more than once then how the application reacts totally depends on the implementation because there is no standard or nothing has been evolved yet in this field as per the presentation so let's try this let's try to give id equals 8 if you remember our id 8 was for the administrator or the username would be admin and password would be admin and there you go when we provide id equals 1 and id equals 8 the application responds with the second value so it ignores the first id parameter let's try one more and let's say id equals three or yeah three is okay and we see that now it changed again and it's displaying the third value conclusion that PHP when running on Apache 
gives an output or uses the id parameter that is last the last value is being used others are being ignored now let's come back and let's open up lesson 32 for testing because this is an identical lesson i have prepared in gsp index.jsp just that we don't get confused what is php and what is jsp and let's say id equals one so we get the first value dumb and dumb and now if we input id equals eight when we did this on the php we got the value of 8 and now let's see on gsp well on gsp it's totally different it takes the first value let's add one more same result so we can conclude that when gsp is running or Java is running Java applications take the first parameter and ignore anything else if there is a reoccurrence of the same parameter but for PHP it ignores the first ones and takes the last so we can use this behavior of impedance mismatch to bypass the WAF because it's a JSP WAF. So if we provide the first parameter as ID equals one, so one being a digit would be valid. And let's, let's go back to lesson 29. Index.jsp ID equals one. And now if we give another parameter id equals two or three whatever you see the difference even being gsp it is displaying me the second value but we just tested that gsps or the java applications just use the first value well as these values are numeric so the filter passes it the first id equals one is a true value filter accepts it and as per the logic it just goes to the backend backend interprets this query string actually whatever you enter in as query is called completely the query string and you see this below this is the query string entered so when it checks the id parameter in the get it says okay you are you have entered id equals one so it says the value is okay nothing malicious in it so it passes the query string to the back end without doing anything else and the back end just takes the query string and parses the second value of it it says because the php behavior is to pass the second one or the last one aha uh -huh. now it is clear right so if we use hpp and use the impedance mismatch we can bypass the whitelist firewall if it is susceptible to the impedance mismatch let's inject and see and bingo we have the error well rather than not going into the details of exploiting the database again and again let me just give you the basic example union select 
1 comma 2 comma 3 hyphen hyphen and the last plus sign and we see 2 and 3 on the screen and we can say database and we see security on the screen and if we say at at data dir so it shows from where it is being loaded so in fact it was just easy this is all for now for this video i would request you to please leave your feedback your feedback helps me motivate more and make more good videos once again i would like like to thank the great people in the industry who do such an awesome research and share their research with other people to learn and understand thank you very much guys kudos to you and bye for now